Okay, here's the wires in place. Um, from right to left there we've got the ignition on, the dimmer, the ground wire, uh, yellow and red from the uh, sensor, and then the last one is a uh, ground wire also from the uh, sensor. And we've got this little uh, tool here. Those are just kind of started with a small screwdriver and this will stick on there and smunch down with the pliers to push those all the way through to uh, cut the insulation. It's uh, completely dark now and cold and raining after a dinner break. Okay, here we are with the uh, pyrometer installed in the uh, A-pillar handle. See the truck running. It's reading about 300 degrees, a little bit more, which would be normal for one that's uh, sitting here at idle. We kick on the uh, jake brake and PTO. Uh, you see it brings the temperature up uh, fairly quickly, about 500 degrees. Uh, it looks pretty good when it's lit. It match or when the cab is lit, it matches the uh, dash pretty well. But when you uh, put it on or turn the cab light out and turn the dash lights down a bit, you can see the uh, dash ends up with uh, green numbers and a black background, but the uh, pyrometer is still pretty well lit. When you turn the uh, dash lights uh, down pretty low, it uh, eh, it's not too bad. Maybe a potentiometer in the uh, dash light line there might help. Also, I see it uh, pulsates just a little bit, and also it uh, goes out completely when the dash lights are still somewhat lit. So, yeah, it, it looks okay. I guess I figured it'd be a little closer match to the dash uh, uh, with the dash lights on. Anyway, it'll be a nice addition to the truck to uh, have a pyrometer when towing is really kind of nice. If ever you uh, blew a boot off the uh, intercooler or uh, got a rat nest in the uh, intake or something, you'd see uh, pretty quickly from the pyrometer that there was a problem. We'll cut the exhaust brake and PTO here and uh, let it cool down. You can see it sort of uh, moves in uh, noticeable steps. Being digitally controlled, I suppose that would be normal, but uh, Exhaust temp probably is already down to 300, but it's taking the gauge a minute to uh, tick down. Uh, it's raining and cold, I think.